हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 5.1 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 5 द हीट इंजन साइकिल फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप इन कोंकी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिंपल वी हैव टू फाइंड द हाईएस्ट साइकिल एफिशिएंसी पॉसिबल फॉर अ हीट इंजन ऑपरेटिंग बिटवीन 800 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड 15 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव गिवन ओनली द टेंपरेचर्स सो वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा हियर टेंपरेचर T1 इज 800 degree centigrade it is the highest temperature in this cycle if we look to the ts diagram temperature specific entropy properties diagram so t1 is 800 degree centigrade and temperature t2 is 15 degree centigrade so if we look to the whole cycle this is the carnot cycle on ts diagram so there are four thermodynamic processes involved two are isentropic processes and two are isothermal processes process 1 to 2 is isentropic process 3 to 4 is isentropic process similarly process 2 to 3 is isothermal process and process 4 to 1 is again isothermal process so we are required to find the highest cycle efficiency and there is nothing but the carnot cycle efficiency so we have to find the carnot cycle efficiency so to find it it's very simple the derivation for the expression of carnot cycle has been derived in the text carnot cycle efficiency is equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 and it is derived from the ts diagram this q1 is actually this is the grass heat and it is the area under the curve 4 1 2 ba and 4 so this is the whole area basically this whole area represents q1 and it is the grass heat similarly this is the net heat t1 minus t2 this is the difference of this temperature and this temperature and sb minus sa so if we multiply this side with this side we will get the area of this square for example so this is the net heat of the cycle so if we divide this net heat by the grass heat we get this expression like this carnot cycle efficiency is equal to if we take this t1 minus t2 into sb minus sa over t1 into sb minus sa so this is common it will be cancelled and if we simplify this we get the expression for carnot cycle efficiency 
and that is T1 minus T2 equal T1. So if we further simplify this, we will get 1 minus T2 by T1. So this is the highest cycle efficiency which is called Carnot cycle efficiency expression. Now putting the values of temperatures T1 which is 800 degree C and 15 degree C, we will convert these values into Kelvin. So it will become 1073 Kelvin and it will become 288 Kelvin. So using this expression of Carnot cycle efficiency, 1 minus T2 by T1. So it will become 1 minus T2 is 288 Kelvin and T1 is 1073 Kelvin. So if we simplify this, we will get 0 0.732. Further, if we write it in percentage, so it will become 73.2%, which is the highest cycle efficiency for this cycle. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.